Hello there, and welcome back for another video. I am Brown Eyes. Thank you guys so much for your constant positive feedback. I really do appreciate you guys. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for taking the spiritual journey with Brown Eyes because this is exactly what it is, a spiritual journey. Um, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And if this video resonates with you, I'm asking that you leave me a comment just to confirm or let me know if it resonates with you. Um, so it is the weekend, so we're about to do the Divine Masculine's weekend energy check here. Um, I did a little challenge. I'm kind of used to the Divine Masculine's energy because it's been kind of the same. Uh, I feel like a lot of Divine Masculines are just in this repetitive way of, of life. They're, they're not completing cycles. They're just repeating cycles. Not completing cycles, but repeating cycles. And if you're not, if you pull your energy back, divine feminines from your divine masculine, then um, it, the divine masculine is just out there looking for other people to suck the life out of, so to speak. And I feel like a lot of divine masculines miss their divine feminines and they want to come back, but I feel like they're they're not healed yet. I feel like they're not going to come back and be honest because they have too many other attachments. I feel like they have attachment, attachments that have absolutely nothing to do with you. I feel like these attachments was way before you. This is a lifestyle of theirs. Uh, they're afraid of commitment. They're afraid of just settling down with one because uh, they know that most of them have some type of sexual addictions anyway. So they can't. So, And, and they're always waiting for the next best thing to happen. Uh, they don't know how to plant roots. And if they are planting roots, they're planting roots in toxic karmic situations because they're having to learn as we all are. So I feel like a lot of divine masculines are not reaching out because they're watching you, divine feminines. And I know this is divine masculines, but we know the divine feminines are always checking out the divine masculines reading, okay? So it's for you, divine masculine, but it's kind of for the divine feminines too, okay? <laughs> So I know the divine masculines, if they're silent still, if they're keeping their distance because they're watching you some kind of way or form or fashion, they're checking up on you, they're re reaching out to your friends or family members just to get some type of uh, insight about what is going on in your life. And if you was really spiritually connected with your your um, your divine masculine, you always communicated things. I feel like you shared a spiritual bond and uh, your conversation is absolutely second to none. Whether they took heed to it or not, they have to respect that about you. So I feel like they're not getting no, nowhere near that right now. They're dealing with vanity. They're dealing with self-absorbed, um, <clears throat> self-nurturing uh, energies, all about the carnal mind. And they're not getting any spiritual fulfillment here, which leads to emotional fulfillment. They're not getting that either. Uh, they can't even um, say that the finances and the materialistic wealth is emotionally fulfilling for them because it's not enough now because even if they got all those things they will still be in search of their high of their higher selves and a lot of them are trying to run from that you know that they're, they're not completing cycles the right way they're sneaking out uh and starting something new and, and that doesn't work and then the cycle just continues so what i'm gonna do is this is my new um I have a new, here it is, a new Oracle God, which I'm going to get the past, the current, and the future energy from this one Oracle deck here. Ask your gods here. <clears throat> and I'm going to clarify these with Miss Cleo's. And also um, the Gilded Tarot. I like the Gilded Tarot too. So... <clears throat> We're going to see where the Divine Masculine's headspace is at this time. And I've already really pre-shuffled them and cut them and did everything. So, just a couple more times to make sure the energy is active. Hope everyone is having an awesome, amazing, wonderful day. Keeping your expectations set in a positive direction here. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, Life Force Aphrodite. That's some type of sensuality or passionate creativity here. So can we get um, past energy for Divine Masculine, please? Show us the past energy for Divine Masculine. These are general readings, by the way. They're not going to resonate with everyone. How could they? I'm bad, y'all, but I ain't that freaking bad, okay? <laughs> 
So just take what resonates and don't even worry about the rest. It's just not for you this time, okay? So universal energy of light and love. Can we get the past energy for divine masculine? Show us the past energy for divine masculine. So the past energy is rest. Number 24 card, Holy Spirit. Rest. And if you look at this if you look at this card, it's like a dove is is giving this person some type of unseen, uh, some unseen help here. Uh, while this person is meditating or resting, it seems like the, uh, the divine masculine is getting some type of spiritual downloads when they're in their solitude, when they're away from the cares of this world. Then I feel like the creator can better deal with them. Because they don't have all of the unnecessary distractions. Can we get some current energy for Divine Masculine, please? Current energy for Divine Masculine. Show us the current energy for Divine Masculine, please. Current energy. <clears throat> Imagination. Inner Child. So, I feel like um, the Divine Masculine could be uh, fantasizing or daring to dream in some kind of way. It's as if they're, I feel like this, when it says imagination and inner child, it's almost as if it's like the fool card. Where they're, you know, they're imagining a, a perfect world and a perfect outcome. I feel like they're imagining a perfect outcome in a perfect world. And they have that the, like that innocent outlook on things. When they're when they're alone in their downtime and they don't have any distractions, I feel like they can think a little bit clearer and a little bit more optimistically. So I feel like in the current energy they're they're using their imagination, but it's also it's also like, you know, it's almost like like they're kind of bold in their energy. Or they're wanting to be more bold because they're using their uh, uh, imagination. And I feel like their imagination is, is above the sky. Because the inner child, you know, it's like they're taking a risk. It's like they're, they're throwing caution to the wind. And they just want to start completely over. And I feel like they're trying to imagine or manifest a way of escape from today's life. So the inner child is always playful and youthful. So I feel like that's what they're trying to, to stay in, in that optimistic, happy-go-lucky, uh, carefree, innocent, childlike energy. Can we get some future energy, possible future energy for Divine Masculine, please? Possible future energy for Divine Masculine. Oh, it's a pretty color. It says future. Oh, I'm sorry, it says suffering. <laughs> Suffering divine teachers. Now, this is coming up in the possible future energy for divine masculine suffering. Now, you notice in this picture, this person is suffering, but the the uh, universal energies or the spirit guides is not taking this person out of this suffering, but they are giving this person some type of spiritual strength because it's all about the test, the journey. You know, it doesn't always feel good. It, it doesn't look good. It's not pretty on paper. It's a mental thing. It's an emotional thing. And suffering can really mess with your emotions and your, your mental, you know, your, your mind. So I feel like the Divine Masculine in the future is really uh, going through some things or will be going through some things here. Or I feel like this is what this person, Divine Masculine, is going through externally. But I feel like when the Divine Masculine is alone, they can use their, their mind to get away from the things that is bothering them or hindering them, so so to speak, uh, externally. But the universe is sending the divine masculine supernatural strength not to uh, keep him from dealing it and going through with it, because he has to go through with it, but to pull him through this. You know, he, he's not alone. None of us are. He has his spirit, guys. He's never alone. And so I feel like in this time, the divine is teaching and showing the divine masculine of what the suffering and what a, all the heartache and pain is for. Because it is a lesson in everything. It doesn't always feel like it's a lesson, but it is. A lot of times we don't understand, it, you know, but we, we're inquisitive. So we're always asking questions. So imagination. Why is imagination here? Because you see this little kid, this inner child is just carefree. Fan, it's just running all through the flowers. It's so happy and so at peace. 
But you got your future energy as suffering. So I feel like as long as the divine masculine can find a positive place in their head, then they can be optimistic and they, they can dream. They can dare wish. You know, it's like they're thinking they're thinking the impossible here, you know, because they're going through some things externally, I feel. I feel like they've taken a break from some things, but something has really been halted in their life where they're having to be still and really take note spiritually. And I feel like it's by design so that the universe, so that the ancestors can lead and teach the, the divine masculine because when they're out there chasing their money and chasing after women, they, they're not trying to hear nothing. You know, the, the, the lust is greater than anything spiritual. So let's start with the current energy for imagination, inner child, for divine masculine. Clarify imagination for divine masculine, please. Why is this here? For divine masculine's current energy, clarify imagination. these cards y'all they big but I like the energy of them okay. we have eight of cups here so we know eight of cups I feel like in this picture you see the cups is just turned all upside all upside down in any kind of way it's not going to be able to hold anything so I feel like even though the divine masculine could physically still be there, but emotionally they've walked away from something. Can I get another card for imagination for divine masculine's current energy, please? Clarify imagination. You got the two of coins here. So some type of choice here. Uh, you know, it's like, it seems like the divine masculine needs to take control of, of his life and, and do what is best for him. Because if you see in this picture, this person is throwing throwing the options up in the air of what instead of taking taking control of their own life and, and uh taking the path they need to take, it's like they just throwing it up and whatever. It's like if it lands on head, that's the way they're gonna go. If it lands on tail, they're not going their way. Cause it seems like this person is just like they don't know what to do or what choice to make, so they just throwing it up. And whatever happens, happens. That's that's the type of approach it seems like they're trying to make. Um, because we're clarifying imagination inner child. So they've emotionally walked away from something. But they're juggling something. They don't know what choice to make from something that they walked away from. So clarify the Eight of Cups for Divine Masculine's cur current energy, please. Clarify Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here for Divine Masculine's current energy? Clarify Eight of Cups, please. Ooh, you got the Ten of Cups. So it seems like the Divine Masculine walked away from a very commit, a very strong commitment here. Uh, but they're but they're uh, juggling the idea. Either they're juggling the idea of walking away from this, or they're having some type of regret from walking away from it. Can I get another card for the Eight of Cups? Clarify the Eight of Cups for Divine Masculine's current energy, please. Clarify Eight of Cups. Ooh, you got the death card. So something ended, something something was put laid to rest, something died in order for something new to begin. So it's as if the divine masculine was juggling, but they walked away from a, a, a strong commitment. They walked away from a commitment. They ended a commitment in order to start something new. So two of coins, clarify the two of coins for the divine masculine's current energy. Two of coins. Why is this two of coins here? You have the four of swords. So I feel like the divine masculine is taking a break. We know they're taking a break because they end it. They walk. You got the uh, eight of cups, the four of swords, and the death card. So in the current energy, something has truly ended here. Some type of commitment here. So this four of swords, clarifying the two of coins, is that the divine masculine, uh, either they took a break from juggling or they're resting. I feel like they took a break from juggling here. Or we're clarifying ultimately imagination. Maybe they're, they're uh, put, laying to rest the, the idea of juggling 
of whether to go back to this or whether to leave this situation here. But it seems like they've already left it because the Eight of Cups is walking away. But I feel like they walked away emotionally. So maybe they are... Um, so it seems like they've already detached themselves emotionally. But they're juggling in their mind whether they should physically leave this situation. They've already emotionally left the situation. But physically, it seems like they're having a harder time. So it's like, do they just walk away emotionally or do they end it and start completely over it? So can I get another card for Two of Coins for Divine Masculine, please? Clarify Two of Coins. The Hierophant. So they took a break from a commitment here, perhaps. I think that they're resting. They could be recharging their energy and they reached out for a, a uh, spiritual help here. But I feel like they took a break from a higher level of commitment here. Because you got the Ten of Cups. That's a higher level of commitment right there. That's the wife, the children, the dog, the home, you know. Um, so it seems like they're imagining something. They're imagining the possibilities of more than what they're in, it seems. So let me go to the past and, and see can this bring it all together. So rest. I feel like the Divine Masculine is taking a break. He's resting in solitude. So that it's kind of like an entrance. It's kind of like the uh, Hermit card. Because you got Holy Spirit. You got this white dove here while this person's taking a rest. And the only way that the Holy Spirit can really get to you is if you disconnect from everybody. So I feel like this person is getting down low. So clarify rest for Divine Masculine's past energy. Why is this card here? Clarify rest. For Divine Masculine's past energy, please. Clarify rest. Okay, so you got judgment. So this could be that there's uh there could be uh dealing with some type of karma, or judgment could be where they're trying to resurrect something, they're trying to bring something back. This is the past energy though. Can I get another card for rest for Divine Masculine's past energy? Why is rest here for Divine Masculine's past energy? Clarify rest. And you got the four cups. So I feel like they're bored and discontent. So it's like rest could be just like the four of swords over here. They took a break from uh, resurrecting or... In their past energy, they took a break from uh, re, uh, rebirthing this some type of something because they're bored and discontent with it. So I feel like it's the same relationship that they took a rest from, but now they're bored and discontent. They're bored with it. Whoever they're with, they're not happy with this person. It's like they're juggling back in their head whether or not to stay with this person or to leave this person. But they want, they want a brand new beginning. I don't know if they want to end this with whoever they're with currently to have a new beginning elsewhere. Or they want to resurrect it because in the past they got judgment. That's like resurrecting something. So clarify judgment for Divine Masculine's past energy. Why is judgment here? Clarify judgment for Divine Masculine's past energy. Clarify judgment. Ooh. So you got the five of swords here. This is clarifying judgment here. Five of Swords means that uh, there was a lot of immature uh, manipulators, a lot of mind games here that obviously ended this relationship. Can I get another card for judgment, please? Clarify judgment for Divine Masculine's past energy. Clarify judgment, please. The Nine of Pentacles here. So there was a lot of manipulation and a lot of mind games with some with. Maybe with with their independence, maybe they lied and uh, played a lot of mind games about them being single. Because they're clearly in something currently. So the four cups, clarify the four cups here. Why is the four cups here for Divine Masculine's past energy? Clarify four cups, please. Mm. Eight of cups. Walking away from something. So this four of cups is, could be bored or discontent. So they're they're taking up. So they took a. So they walked away from this in the past. 
So it seems like they walked away from this in the past. Maybe it's emotionally walking away because they're bored and discontent with this. Whatever this is in the past, they walked away from it. Can I get another card for Four of Cups for Divine Masculine's past energy, please? Clarify Four of Cups. Okay. They walked away from... Okay, so they walked away from feeling stuck. They walked away from this mental prison that they were in. So I don't know if this relationship... I guess that's why they had to take take a break from it and rest. Because it seems like this relationship was full of lies and, and, and just, just full of mess. So it seems like the Divine Masculine walked away from this. Walked, so like I say, they, they walked away from this emotionally. So they've already walked, they've already detached from this relationship. I feel like they, they uh, lied about them being single here and abundant. They could have been lying about their finances as well because you do have the two of coins here. So they could have been juggling their finances between two, two relationships as well. But whatever this is in the past, they wanted to come, they left the mental uh, imprisonment. So whoever they were involved that they took a break from, seems like they lied to someone about them being single. Now, whoever they was dealing with could be the one that walked away. Walked away because they felt like they was in a prison. So they walked away because they felt like they was in a mental prison. So they walked away from this connection here. This is the past. So I feel like the reason why is judgment because whoever the divine masculine was involved with in the past, he was into a lot of negative mind games. He probably was manipulating the situation given the appearance that he was a single, available, abundant a uh, single person and so uh he was bored or maybe he was bored and discontent with whoever he walked away from maybe that's why he walked away from because he was bored and he was tired of feeling stuck because if he's trying to give the impression that he's a single abundant person then he he didn't want to feel any restraints he didn't want any any restrictions because four of cups he's bored and discontent he, he didn't he, he he didn't want that that obligation of a relationship it seems so they took a break from it but in in the process of taking a break i feel like uh the, the spirit the spirit guys have been dealing with this divine masculine so it's like they walked away from someone who they misled in the past so now the current energy is now they're imagining they're imagining ending a relationship that they're that they're in to have a new beginning. So it's like they end in this. They left somebody else in the past because they lied to get this person. It seems, but it seems like now that you know they they took a break from it in this time of separation, they're reflecting now. They're introspecting. The universe is dealing with them emotionally and mentally, spiritually, because it says Holy Spirit. So now they're using their in, in imagination. And I feel like in a sense, it's kind of healing their inner child. So now they want to walk away from the current connection that they're in. They want to end that so that they can have a brand new beginning. So they're taking a break from this commitment, which is this 10 of cups. So it's like, because you see the eight of cups, they're walking to something more fulfilling. This is the past energy. They walked away from something to in order to walk towards something to go to something more fulfilling. Now in the current energy, they have the 10 of cups. They have the, they have the 10. That's the highest. So, but so but they got the eight of cups they walking away they want to walk away from that now and this is the current energy they taken a, they've taken a break from this commitment that they're in now so whoever they left the person in the past for in the current energy they want to leave this current person because something has happened spiritually for this divine masculine during this time of separation i feel because now in the future energy, you have suffering. So I feel like this person is going back and forth in their thoughts and they could be balancing their money. They could be having problems because they're trying to leave this commitment here and their, their finances could be uh, in trouble here. And when you deal with the hierophant, it's like 
it's it's like it could be a, someone you know a, a higher wisdom or someone who who marries some commitment card here but you got the death card so whatever they were in they ended it in order to start something new so they 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 ended that to start something new. So they took a break from this commitment. So they've taken a break. So I feel like this two of coins is them. Like I say, eight of cups, they took, a, they took away their emotions. They, they're, they're no longer emotionally invested. But I feel like now they're in the stage of physically trying to leave this situation here. So suffering, clarify suffering for divine masculine's future energy. Why is suffering here? Clarify suffering for divine masculine's future future energy suffering why is suffering here for divine masculine's future energy clarify suffering please six of swords because they want to move towards calmer waters so it seems like the person that they left in the past they want to come back to that person but because of how they left this person and they left this person for someone else now they don't even want the someone else they left them for. So they want to come back to this person in the past because that that is karma waters for them, but they're in this they they <laughs> they in something already. This they they're, they're in something. They they've emo they're, they're no longer uh emotionally in uh invested in this current situation, but it's like they're trying to figure out a way how they can physically remove themselves out of this situation. So, uh, can I get another card for suffering for Divine Masculine's future energy, please? Clarify suffering for Divine Masculine's future energy. Clarify suffering. Page of Swords. So, they want to move towards calmer waters, but they're still kind of in this immature energy. They've been... Uh, Whoever they're trying to move to towards karma waters, they've been keeping their eye on them. They've been investigating them. And whatever they probably find out is probably in their head now. I feel like whatever this page of swords is has been investigating and researching and spying and all those things like that is messing with them. It's hurting them because now they're suffering. Whatever they've been, whatever they uh walked up on that they're watching, they it's not red is is hurting their soul. It's hurting them. So it's like whoever they're trying to move to, and I feel like it's the divine feminine, whoever they're trying to move towards karma waters, they're watching this person because, you know, they know how they left this person, but they're not saying what they want to see. And it's messing with them. Because they're suffering. Whatever they saw, it, it's, it's got them suffering now. They're, it's in their head. They're, it's like their emotions is, is getting the best of them now. Because you see, this person is damn near balled up in the night. They, they hurt to their soul here. This person is really suffering here. But it, it, it's all, and when you see divine teachers, they had to feel the exact same pain that, that they sent out. Because that is what teaches you. So the, the divine intervention is, is here teaching the divine masculine, but it doesn't feel like it is he's being taught. But it's all for his growth. He has to feel, you have to feel what you put people through. So you know not to treat people like that. And I feel like whatever the divine masculine has been searching and who he's been watching very closely is someone who he know he did wrong to. He's not talking to them because he don't want to come. He's afraid. He's afraid to just openly just, just initiate a, a contact. So he'll watch him. But he's not liking what he see. It's too much for him. So let's clarify these six of swords. Clarify six of swords for divine masculine. Why is the six of swords here for divine masculine? You got the sun card. See, he wants to move towards calmer waters and this, the, uh, he's hopeful. That's why you're his calm place, divine feminine. I don't give a crap what you thought you knew or what you, what you thought it was. Even in, in their, their divine masculine, let me talk to you, because this is your reading, okay? I'm sorry. I don't mean no disrespect. But divine masculines, who are you kidding? You know your your, your place of peace is with your divine feminine. You know that she is calm of waters. You know that she brings joy and illuminates and just lights up the room and just makes your day a little bit brighter. Anytime, that's why you want to come back to her, because she lights up your life. She adds substance to you. 
but it's still bad because you taking you taking that negative energy to you. The six of swords is still mental. You still taking this with you. Whatever you mentally going through, it's like I feel like the divine masculine know that he came wrong with the divine feminine here, but he um he got a problem. He's stuck in his head. He's feeling stuck because he walked away from this this connection in the past. Now he's in this position where whoever he chose to walk towards, because remember he got the Eight of Cups, he walked away from whoever he lied to about his, his status, but now he wants to walk away from them. So now I feel like the Divine Masculine's like, well, shit, I should have just stayed with who I had if I'm trying to come back, because who I left them for, it wasn't even worth it. Yeah, it looked good on paper. It looked like they happy. I know it do. Don't let it fool you, Divine Film. This this was not happy. Because behind closed doors, he wants to put it to the end. So if, if this Ten of Cups, the, the, you left the Eight of Cups to find the Ten of Cups, and if the Ten of Cups plus this higher fan didn't make you happy, you dead me. You don't even want it. You're trying to start. You're not trying to start completely over with this. You just want a brand new beginning somewhere else. Because now over here, you're suffering. If this Ten of Cups had you happy, you would be you would be happy in this current energy. But in your future energy, you're suffering. Why? Because you want your divine feminine. You want to come towards her, but you still got some negative energy with you. And, and now you're watching her now. And now you don't like what you see. Can I get another card for Six of Swords? This video going too long, y'all. Six of Swords. Five of Wands. That's conflict. That's fighting. That's disagreements. That's not getting along. So I feel like the divine masculine feels like if he come this way, even though you're his come, that's why they're suffering because I feel like they feel like it's going to be a fight with you, divine feminine, for them to come to you because I feel like they feel like it's going to be fighting because they're not just coming to you. They're coming to you with, with, with mental conflict. You still got swords. Even though you're trying to move to a, bit, a calmer place, you still bring your, your mental, uh, your mental down, down, you know, your shortcomings with you. Whatever you did not correct in your current energy and whatever you did not handle in your past energy, you're still taking it with you. So although you're trying to move away from the negative people, you're still taking this shit with you. And so even though the divine masculine, the divine feminine is your everything and, and she is a wish fulfilled and, and, and she, she just brightens your day, you know that there's going to be conflict with her because she's not going to put up with just anything. She's going to see you coming with your negative energy. So page of swords. So we know it's negative energy because you got the page of swords. Why are you watching somebody you left? Then you walk away from this person. So clarify the page of swords for divine masculine's future energy. Clarify page of swords. Uh -uh. Six of swords again. <laughs> he want to come back. That's why the divine, so whatever, I feel like the divine masculine has been watching you so severely because you guys haven't been in contact and that's, that's fucking their head up because they feel like divine feminine, if, if they know anything about you, you're very spiritual and psychic. They know that you'll always come back to them one way or the other, but you're not coming back this time because you've really pulled back your energy. So the only way they can reach out to you is to watch your ass and see what kind of mood you're in to see can they come because they weak, they scary, you know, because they know they didn't do right. So they still, they, they still, even though they don't like what they're seeing and what they're finding out, they still want to come to you. But they still come in that low vibrational energy. They bring in all their heartache and pain with them. Whatever they've been through in this current energy is what they're bringing with you, to you. With this is what they're trying to bring over in this new brand new beginning here. They're gonna bring that 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 negative energy over because this is who they've been with. They had an established relationship. You got the Ten of Cups and the Hierophant. They were well committed. So, you know, they, you, you become one after so long. So whatever this person was or wasn't, this divine masculine was or wasn't. And they're trying, and they're going to bring that energy right to you. So can I get another card for Page of Swords for Divine Masculine's future energy, please? Page of Swords. Mm. You got the Ten of Pentacles. They want to move towards a place of common waters. They feel like you're so abundant. They want to move towards you because they feel like they can build abundance with you now. Now they feel like they can build abundance with you. Because they didn't give you none of this other stuff. 
But now that they've left, they're trying to leave this this union, this current union. They're trying to come to you because they want to build stability with you. They want to build this with you. They want to partner up and teamwork with you and build something together with you now. They want to offer you stability. I feel like everything that they didn't give you in the past, they're trying to give it to you now, but they're too wimpy to come the right way to do it. Not only that, they're bringing negative energy with them because they haven't learned anything. I feel like they emotionally left this current energy, but physically they're still there. Meanwhile, they're still trying to uh, have a new beginning with you and uh, bring some stability, but it's going to be conflict with you guys. They're suffering because they don't know if you're going to receive them or not. They don't know if you went on with your life. So I feel like some of these divine masculines have been watching you and um, some things that they're seeing is, is showing that you're happy now and they don't like you looking like you're happy without them. Because like I said, you, they just supposed to suck the energy out of you. Let me get a couple of these answers, angel answers, right quick. And then let me wrap it up because this is almost 40 minutes. Can we get some answers for the Divine Masculine's energy, please? What does Divine Masculine need to know? What does Divine Feminine need to know about the Divine Masculine here? <laughs> Can we get some more energy for Divine Masculine's? Can we get some answers from the angels for Divine Masculine, please? It says, listen to your intuition. It says, listen to your intuition. So Divine Masculine needs to listen to his intuition because he's suffering here. It says, let go. I feel like Divine Masculine needs to let go of this current situation here. He's not letting it go. He's 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 took back his emotions, but he's still around. He's still hanging on. I think there's codependency there. And it says, ask for help from others. This is what the Divine Masculine needs to do because... He's, he's, he's going through it here. He's suffering. But, you know, he's not going to reach out and ask for help because of his ego. And it seems like, to me, if he asks for help from others, then he will have a peaceful resolution here. I feel like what is if the Divine Masculine has re removed himself from toxic situations, he don't need to go back. The universe is telling him to don't stop. Keep moving forward, Divine Masculine. Keep moving forward. Keep doing the right thing. And it says, look for a sign. So, all right. So this has been your reading for your Divine Masculine Weekend Edition. If this video resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment and I will talk to you on the next video. Bye.